Hello. Today I want to show some time-saving tips in the kitchen. So many of us cook with garlic and ginger um, as a starter for a stir fry or soup or something, and you're constantly processing those foods. So I'm going to show you what I do. I use, um, this is a pound of garlic, already peeled garlic cloves that I buy at BBQs, a whole pound of garlic, and I'm going to process it in my food processor. So super easy, they peel it for you, dump the whole pound into the food processor. And I'm going to put the top on and um, I'm going to turn it on so it, it's pureed. And it's really like a fine dice, just as if you had squeezed it through a garlic press. <laughs> That's it, about 10 seconds. It dices it really fine. So you can see it's nicely diced. And now I have, I may have garlic for a while. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze it. Because if you buy these bags, the moisture makes them get moldy very quickly. So you can't even keep it on hand. So I like to process it and freeze it. So I'm just gonna scrape off all this garlic and I'm gonna use, this is a reusable uh, Ziploc baggie. So I'm gonna put the whole thing in here. It fits about, the pound will fit into this gallon size baggie. Use my spatula to clean it out. And um, okay, get every last delicious smelling drop. It smells so good if you like garlic. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is squeeze all the air out. So I will seal this up about three quarters of the way, lay it flat on the counter, and. Uh, you're going to press the garlic so it takes up the whole bag, making a very thin layer. And once you get it very thin, you can roll it up from the bottom, which will take all the air out, and now seal it. So now it should be almost like vacuum sealed because I squeezed all the air out. It's a very thin layer. You can spread it out a little bit more. But now I'm going to put this in my freezer, and at any time that I need garlic, I can just break a clump off. It's thin enough that you should just be able to crack a piece off, and then you can throw it. You don't even have to defrost it. You throw it right in your soup pot or your stir fry, and it's good to go. So that is such a time-saving tip. I only have to wash the food processor once and have garlic for a month. The other thing I do this with is onions. So. I'm going to use the same container. I don't have to wash it because most of the time I use garlic and onion together. So there's no risk of cross contamination. And I peeled these onions. These were relatively small, so I just quartered them. Just made a piece about that big. If it's a big onion, you might want to cut it into sixths or eighths, small pieces. And you can fill the food processor about halfway. You don't want to go too high. So with this, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn it on. I'm actually gonna use the pulse. So it bounces up and down, which keeps it from getting pureed. You don't want a pureed in, you just want a fine dice. So just keep hitting the pulse button. And so you see all the big chunks are gone. You can look in and see if it looks fine enough for your liking. I like it a little bit more finely diced. Maybe you want bigger chunks. But that's it, about 10 to 15 pulses, and it's done. So now I will put the onion in a bag just like this and do the same thing lay it flat to freeze and then just break off a clump. So by freezing it, it actually adds a little moisture to the onions. So when you throw them in your pan, um, it releases some of the moisture and it actually 
makes it easier to saute with less oil. So that's an added bonus. Um, if you don't have a food processor, I want to show you a fast way to cut an onion. So what I like to do is hold the knife sideways and slice through about you know three quarters of the way through. Don't go completely through. You make little slits going up the onion about a quarter inch or as little as you can go. You make as many cuts as you can. And now you go across. Same thing, not going all the way through. So you're leaving this section together. And now you slice it and you're gonna get these tiny chunks of onion. Go as thin as possible. When you get up to the part where you have it cut through, just lay it flat and go across. And it's an easy way to quickly dice up an onion. So if you just need a little bit, you can do the same thing. Dice up two, three onions, put them in a bag and freeze them. And then you have it on hand. There's a couple of big pieces. You could just slice them up. There you go. So I'll put the links for these bags. These are BPA free, which is the dangerous chemical that's in plastic. So these are BPA free and they're reusable, so you're saving the environment. These bags, which I haven't opened yet, are from Stasher. This is a gallon and a quart. Now these are silicon, which is actually even better, but these are a little bit more pricey. So both of them save the environment. These are the Cadillac option, and these are the, um, <laughs> the Camaro option. <laughs> anyway, both save you time and save the environment. So uh, hopefully this helps. The other thing I'll do this with is ginger. Peel it and um, puree it like the garlic, and you can have a bag of ginger in your freezer also. So. Hope that helps save you some time.